So, okay, we we'll start the afternoon session and the joint partner will deliver his first lecture, uh, Floor Theory and Lulu Sector. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to the organizers for the invitation uh, to speak. Um, I'll, I'll tell you about uh, first period on uh, sectors, and this is all joint work with uh, Shilda Nutter and Jack So, uh, the legal sector is um, the legal sector. So it's a geometric setup in which uh, we can we can make sense of the theory. So, what is it? Legal sector. Is um, so it's an exact symplectic manifold boundary. Um, so it's cylindrical infinity. Um, so it means that your infinity is modeled on the positive half of the symplectization of a contact manifold with boundary. Um, and uh, such that, such that there exists, there exists a uh, Hamiltonian vector field. Uh, which is uh, linear infinity and transfers to the boundary. So, the remark, how do you tell whether um, a Hamiltonian vector field is uh, transverse to a hypersurface? Um, so, we can make the slight notational um, mistake of using the conventional x, xi for the Hamiltonian vector field associated to a function i. So xi is transverse to this hypersurface um, boundary of x. That's equivalent to saying that the differential of i restricted to the characteristic foliation of the boundary um, is, sorry, is, is everywhere known matching. So you see that this condition implies that the characteristic foliation um, on the boundary uh, has no closed orbits. In fact, it, it shows that um, the boundary with its characteristic foliation is simply a product of the symplectic reduction and, and R. Great. Now, we know from the perspective of symplectic field theory that if, if we do some sort of neck stretching along a hypersurface, um, if it's stable Hamiltonian, then um, holomorphic curves will concentrate along um, the closed orbits of the characteristic foliation. Now here we have no closed orbit, so at least heuristically that says that um, holomorphic curves will not be able to cross the boundary of the Lebo sector. Um, so in fact, so in your position, um, and any you go X. Our coordinates near the boundary x of the form um, some Viva manifold across um, half length. So this is a Viva manifold. So, so there's this, there's this obvious um, projection, uh, projection to C, projection to the half plane, and, and this uh, this map will be denoted with pi. Um, so using this, we can uh, we, we can uh, get get control of some polymorphic curves to show that they they don't escape the boundary. <coughs> Right, so, so, so any, so using these coordinates, um, we can glue on 
the other half, f across the left half plane to any mutable sector x and obtain the mutable manifold x bar, um, which I would rightly call the convex completion. So, so for example, um, well, the most trivial example, x is itself, um, say, the right half plane. Then uh, the convex completion is just the whole, whole complex plane. So I've shown you how to go from a levo sector to a levo manifold. Um, you can go back also. So um, in the other direction. form, also called Levo pairs, um, are essentially equivalent to Levo sectors. So um, to go back, um, given such a pair, um, we can get a Levo sector x, which is just um, x bar minus, minus the neighborhood of this f. So, so liberal sectors have a well-defined third theory. So for, for any x liberal sector, we have W of x. This is uh, the wrapped high category. So x, the objects are X uh, cylindrical and uh, and and they don't touch the boundary. So X has boundary, the Lagrangians don't have boundary. Uh, for example, here for this X, <coughs> well, they're not that many Lagrangians. Things like this. They go to infinity, but they don't go to the boundary. Uh, so, so when I draw a Liouville sector, it's a solid boundary. That's the actual boundary. And then there's this infinity. Which is sometimes also called a boundary, but it's not a boundary in the, in the literal sense of a, a manifold of boundary. The garage is the infinity, but not, not the boundary. Okay, so morphisms are given uh, by 
route route for a chains in the usual sense. So you think of some sort of chain level direct limits of over, over positive isotopes. Um, so they also have they also have some fact that cohomology. Associated, well, to many Lagrangian singularities, this is associated with the evil sector. Um, so that's the one in this particular case. And, and, and in general, um, the graph kind of category of this, <coughs> the, the arboreal sector associated to a tree T is the, is the representation category of that, of that tree. So, so the other, um, the other example you know, right here. sectors. Um, so, so there's there's this group symplectic cohomology, uh, but I'll take symplectic cohomology relative to the boundary. Um, and what what does this mean? So, okay, what sorts of vector fields, what sorts of new, uh, Hamiltonian vector fields do we do we consider to define this group? Well, okay, we um, take the usual linear at infinity wrapping positively around the contact boundary. 
um, along the um, along the actual boundary, um, we go in the opposite direction. So, so this this group um, this group receives a map from from ordinary uh, cohomology relative objects. Okay, and there's, there's also um, familiar clear theory. There's a Open goes map from optical homology of replicate category to disinfective homology. Great. Um, so, so from this setup, we get um, we get a local to global um, principle for. For studying this map, so let's get this is also proposition. Let's say x um, is leave a manifold, um, and x sigma is a uh, they have homology hypercover. Of X. So what does that mean? Um, on each of these x sigmas to uh, chains on x. So have the x sigma in the sectors or just what it says? Um, they, 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 are, they, they will be liable sectors, yes. So to make this definition, I don't, I don't care. So and the intersections are also available to solution. Right. Uh, so, 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 okay. so, so let me. Um, so first of all, okay, so sigma is a poset. Sigma is a poset, um, and x sigma is inside x sigma prime, or sigma less than or equal to sigma. Oh. So, so I, I don't talk about intersection. Intersections are um, more, more difficult to ensure that the intersection is on the nose of the lethal sector and the corners. So, so I, I, so I fix a poset um, into something like this. Um, okay, so I want. I want this map. Um, this is the fundamental class. Example is uh, so M is a compact manifold with boundary, then then it's T star M uh, is a lethal sector. Okay, and so um, 
So if um, so, <coughs> if we're covering M, for instance, balls, we get uh, cover of T star M by um, copies. Of T star ball. So very many uh, complicated medieval manifolds can have co covers by smaller medieval sectors, uh, which are more amenable to calculation. then open close map for the telespace. We know well this conclusion is something um, is is a very important condition. Abu Zaid showed that if, if you have this condition, then um, well, and you take some of the finitely many Lagrangians you need in the domain to hit the unit, those Lagrangians generate by category. Um, and after also um, shows that this map is an isomorphism if it in fact um, it's, it's the unit. Finally, I should say, okay, you, you, can, you can do this calculation of this local open closed maps in the case of cotangent bundle. Um, very, very easy to do this, so this gives, a, gives, gives another proof of um, how this is resulted. But, um, this open closed map is, uh, does get rid of <coughs> cotangent bundles. Okay, but, but going beyond cotangent bundles, one of the things I want to try to um, convince you of is is that um, medieval sectors um, are
and see if it's just conjecture. Relating to other wrapped kite categories and certain uh, categories of sheeps. So, um, so one of the baby examples of potential funnel. So, so these invariants, uh, so for, I should have said this earlier, for any inclusion of the sectors, we get counter. And uh, well, okay, we, we very much believe we can show it is in fact the Cauchy founder uh, in an appropriate topology. Um, maybe say something about that in later lectures. <coughs> so, so the proof of the maybe I won't uh, maybe I won't say how the prove the proposition. There's a, um, a, a simple diagram one can write down that basically follows um, just from this from the fact of, of having push forward maps that you get. Okay. Terrible. I mean, if, if you have a believable sector kind of category, you might say it's like reasonable. But if you have F to really horrible, then, then you can get some nasty category. Um, but even if it's even if, even if the answer is negative, I mean, you you, you can um, there there are uh, I'll, I'll I'll say what you might. Um, so 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 the objects. Category of, 
the Libra sector is a special case of this. If I have, um, if f inside um, with x is a Libra hypersurface, then these are all quasi equivalences. So you can map throughout the high category of the Libra sector x minus F just it retracts down to this, this core, and that retraction doesn't change the high category. says it's perhaps better to think of um, think not of f but rather of, of the complement, the open complement. That's uh, that's the open subset of infinity where we allow our Lagrangians to go. And that's where we wrap inside. And if you just isotope that complement around um, as a contact submanifold of this contact boundary, the Fukai category stays the same. Another thing to point out is, um, as you deform f here, so, so being a um, being a Liouville hypersurface is an open condition. So deform f however you want to and change the Liouville form on it. Um, the core uh, changes very drastically when you do this. I can imagine how the you know, stable manifolds changes when you do a handle slide or something. Um, so 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 there, so there are lots of moves. Um, on subsets which keep the same high category. And it's somehow not clear what the most general uh, invariant statement would be. Okay, um, so, so why, why are we doing this? So there's, there's a good reason why, why this is a nice place to study. Here's the reason why why this is, is helpful. So so the state so I have a state something called the, the wrapping exact triangle, but um, before I do that, I need to uh, introduce linking disks. So 
if I have, um, say, lambda is a Legendrian inside, um, inside a con contact. And I hope, say, a local. Chandrian, some manifold, you're given point P. Um, then there's a linking disk, I guess called D lambda P inside uh, the flight station. locally linking lambda in the Legendrian sense, they bound disks. Um, these, these disks, uh, the linking disk uh, intersects uh, well, the cone over lambda in exactly one point. Cool. Um, so this is the or you don't have uh, Yes, the branching. Yeah, the branching. So you can also describe the linking disk in terms of Weinstein handles. <coughs> so, so this guy, this implantation, comes equipped with, with the Liouville vector field. Um, now, on lambda, I can introduce uh, a pair of canceling uh, critical points of that Liouville vector field. So, so instead of being straight out, like this, I deform it so that it has these two critical points. On 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 um, R cross lambda. Yes. Um, yes. So so so. No, it's index index zero. Index one. Okay, and then and then the linking disk is the co-core of of one of these. The co-core taken transverse to. <coughs> so you can, that, that's a description in terms of Weinstein handles of the looking disk. But you can also define it just by, by drawing the picture. say about this linking disk uh, for the experts, when you think in terms of microlocal sheaves and um, you think of this category um, in terms of the sheaves uh, with micro support along CF, then this linking disk corresponds to the micro stock along, um, along this, along lambda. So um, if you take your palm, palm from a given Lagrangian to um, to the linking disk um, is the same as the microstock of the sheaf corresponding to that Lagrangian at the point P where you took the, the linking disk. Okay, so what's the rough inside triangle? 
So, so fix on um, the stopped view on our hold. And now the front end. And suppose you have a positive. Isotopy, um, but not one which is disjoint from F, rather, um, which passes through F. So, so the, the continuation map goes from L W to L. This is the continuation map. Um, and the cone is the linking disk. The cone is the linking disk at this point. They show that um, the high category of Weinstein manifold is generated by the co um, X to Weinstein manifold. We have X, which is generated by co course. Oh, so, so one can also prove this by the, the wrapping exact triangle as follows. So, so the trick is, is to stabilize. So category X embeds by a, um, by a Kunin functor inside uh, the Rapkai category of X crossed uh, with um, C stopped at two points. So let me just draw that like this.
So it's having a stop to leave a manifold, or to leave a manifold is C, and the stop is two points on the back. So what, what's the um, what's the functor here? Well, it's just L maps to L times L times L times this the vertical uh, imaginary axis. Great. Um, so this uh, this functor. So what is this functor due to the cohorts? Cohorts back to. Um, well, okay, first let's understand what is this product. So if we take x, so we have a manifold, take a product, <coughs> stop, we have a manifold, what we get um, is x cross C with two stops. There's a stop here and a stop here. And what the stops are are two copies of the core of X. Right, so X cross C is, has this trivial open book with page X. Um, and and modern the identity, you just take two opposing pages, they have the core of X inside them. Stop. Okay, so so um, the cohorts are associated to uh, the, the cr critical handles um, of X. And for every critical handle, you also get a Legendrian component of, well, Lagrangian comp component of the core, the stable manifold. And so there's, there's a linking disk around that, the top of that. So, so in fact, the cohorts are mapped. Two blinking disks. Um, you'll notice that this this IR here, <coughs> this Lagrangian, this vertical Lagrangian, is the cocor. Oh, sorry, it's not the cocor. It's the um, is the linking disk associated to, to the stop. Both of these stops. That's just a general fact. Product of cocor and linking disk is. is linking disk. Okay. So, so what's the argument? Um, take. Take your favorite. This is CX. This is CX. Take your favorite Lagrangian L times IR. And um, by isotopy through one of these stops. Isotopy uh, by general position, you pass through CX some finite number of times, um, and, and each of those times you pick up a linking disk, which is a cohort, and when you're here, this is a zero object. geometric approach to this question of showing that once the manifold is by category generated by the cohorts is to say try to do some local surgery operation <coughs> uh, near each um, critical handle which uh, which simplifies uh, your Lagrangian. So take your Lagrangian, flow it down by the level well and um, it sort of accumulates uh, near each of the, it gets, gets stuck on each of the um, stable manifolds of the critical handles. And near, near there, maybe it looks like a bunch of sheets covering this, covering the core. And you could try to say, um, do, do a surgery, um, 
connect some to a Poulter over some of the cocor, uh, and then uh, which in the Fukai category just takes a cone of the cocor, and then I take that re result and, and push it down further, get this joint. So that's what they do uh, in this paper. Um, but they have to work with immersed Lagrangians to do it during the surgery operation. They become immersed in this um, source of some difficulties. Um, um, which is um, but somehow, this, by stabilizing, uh, right, and if you have a, um, right, if you have an embedded, if you have an immersed Lagrangian, and you take its lift to the contact contactization that, that splits apart most of the double points usually. Unless you're very unlucky. Um, so that's somehow what's happening. It's somehow it's basically um, morally one, one could expect it to be essentially the same proof. Exactly the same as the proof of, of this. Hey, you're wrong. Hey, you're wrong. This looks like something strange. Um, and just Hamiltonian flow, which displaces all the Grangians. So the Hamiltonian flow of this real part displaces all the Grangians. I'm saying, oh, sorry, it's not the real part, it's the real part squared. Hamiltonian flow of the real part squared is, this, is the shear on C, which fixes the fixes the imaginary axis and pushes stuff on the right up. That displaces any Lagrangian. Um, so apply that to Lagrangian here. It passes through the link. Uh, the linking disks some number of times, picks those up, and once you displace it far enough, you get a zero object. Okay. Thank you. 
x axis. So that's the following. So that x below manifold um, f is closed and lambda. Then um, you stop along F, you get lambda, and we have a map to only stopping along F. I just made the stop smaller. Um, and there's some obvious things in the, in the, in the kernel, uh, namely the leaking disks of lambda. It's the leaking disk along.
restrictions. Yeah, so so if, if the intersections aren't sectors, then then there's probably not much not much you can do. Um, but but one can hope to formulate a topology in which the intersections will always be sectors if you consider only sectors in the topology. So, so this, the question: if there's enough covering in your core set sets? Yeah, I mean, so so if you just consider Liouville sectors inside a given Liouville manifold, um, that's a core set. Yeah, it's it's somehow it's not a reasonable thing to thing to do. The intersection you won't be able to refine covers by a pair of covers by other covers. Um, but but my my current belief is that if you if you restrict the Liouville sectors under consideration a little more, let's say the semi-conic topology ones which are closed under the upward Liouville flow and use the correct notion of a cover, um, then this actually forms a reasonable topology in which you can. Questions? No, but I'm not.